Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I am going to do a haul for you. Um, I went ahead and ordered some of the Gucci products. Now I have an abundance of products in front of me, but I'm not keeping all of them. Uh, online it's very hard to order. The swatches that they show online are sometimes very different and sometimes right on. So I thought, and after watching a couple of people's videos who um, had shown some of the Gucci line, I decided I would order uh, some of them. But again, when I got them in person, I knew they weren't for me. So I will start with the face glow. First of all, it comes in a very gorgeous, its packaging is exquisite. Um, I ordered sacks. I did have to wait. They were back ordered. Well, they weren't back ordered. They weren't in stock yet. Uh, it comes in a beautiful black case, which I never keep these. And then the packaging looks like so. And this is the Gucci Face Golden Glow Bronzer. And I got it in number 40, Exotic Umber. Now, I'm not going to swatch this one for you. I will show it to you because it is going back. It is too, I can tell you already, too orange for me. I prefer a more uh, neutral tone bronzer versus a red or an orange. Uh, I should have probably gotten the lightest one, but this is it. And as you can see, the color that it's showing up on my camera, I'm hoping, when I lean it into you, you can see that it has orange, and I will also say for my mature audience, there is a little bit of sparkle in this bronzer. I prefer a matte bronzer for my skin. So this will be going back, but just the same, it is beautiful. Uh, it seems like these products are all very sheer. I do have some eyeshadows on today, which I'm going to show you, and a blush. First, I'll show you the blush. Now, I ordered two of them. I am going to keep the blushes, so I will swatch them for you. The first one is Soft Peach, which I am wearing on my face today. And these are Sheer Blushing Powders in number 30, Soft Peach. These are beautiful. Uh, very, very beautiful. I have, most of my blushes are MAC, and I'm finding that with age, the MAC sometimes is powdery. I'm not going to put MAC down because I love MAC products, but sometimes the powderiness of it is too much, and creams don't last for me, and I know you can layer all that, but I just would like to find a really beautiful blush, and these are really gorgeous. Again, they come in the beautiful case, and they're magnetic. They stay closed, so they open up. <clears throat> It comes with a little brush, and the brush is okay for a pinch. It's not a bad brush. Uh, and a little plastic shield over it. But this one here is in the Soft Peach Glow. Again, this is the one that I have on, and I will show you a swatch of this because I am going to keep this. It is just a beautiful peach-toned blush. I really, let me swipe it on my hand so you can see how sheer they play. This is, this is important for me with the blush. It shears out and it has a beautiful satin finish to it, which makes it really beautiful for aging skin. And that is it sheared out. And it's just almost invisible with a hint of color on the face. I really do like the blushes. So they are staying in my little collection. And that one was the peach. The other one that I ordered is the, it's number 60, Pink Camellia. Camilla, Camellia, whichever you want to say. I don't really care. Okay, again, beautiful case packaging. We won't go through that every single time. Now this one here leans more towards the pink. It's a very soft, beautiful pink. Let me get so it shows the true color. And let me show it to you on my finger. It's really, really beautiful. Again, I will shear it out on my hand so you can see. Let me get a little more. How beautiful they are. See, they just they add just a little glow without any sparkle. This is very important. I cannot tell you how important that is to me. Okay, so I love the blushes. I will be keeping both of these blushes. The next thing I'm going to show you, I ordered two quads and, uh, of eye. One is 
Well, I'll show you the one I'm not going to keep first because I won't be swatching it, but I think you'll be able to really see the true colors. It is Autumn Fire number 40. <clears throat> These are really beautiful, but they're a little too vivid for me. Actually, every time I open it, I think, I really love this. I might have to keep it. I might have to keep this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. I want to show it to you so you can see. It has a beautiful peach tone, a beautiful brown, but I will tell you, I am wearing the brown in the outer part of my eye. This is why I'm not going to swatch this one right now. Sometimes, some lines in the brown, I need them to stay chocolate brown or red brown. When they start to pull that gray taupey brown, they no longer look good on me. So as the day goes on, I will be able to see if this pulls that taupey shade or if it's going to pull blue because then it's just not going to work for me. But these are really, really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, just exquisite. And that's, and then this one is a beautiful golden tone. Just beautiful. And again, this one is called Autumn Fire. Perfect name for it too. And they also come with two little brushes, sponge tip and a uh, brush brush. I don't ever use those, but they do come with it in case you're somebody who does. I think that the burgundy uh, magenta color in this one is just divine. The two of them together, the burgundy and then the gold, just beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to see probably if they have that in a duo. And then if they have it in a duo, I may be forced. I just may be forced to get it. Okay, this is the one that I thought I was going to really, really love. And this one is called Tuscan Storm, number 20. I think this is going to be probably one of their most popular. <clears throat> it is really, it has be three beautiful shades to it. And then one I just know is not going to work for me. But it is really just divine. But this is going to be a t one of those taupey colors. These three here, this one may pull a little too gray. But the colors on these are just beautiful. I think I'm probably going to end up keeping the first one over this one because I probably have a better chance of it not turning gray. Okay, so let's put that back in there. Now I ordered two of the duos and the first one I'm going to show you is Foom or Fume, however you want to say it. And I did order this one specifically, this is the right one, yes, I have been looking, now if you have brown eyes or you have a brown with a green undertone, this is going to be very beautiful. I have been looking for a really nice olive sage green in an eyeshadow. Um, my only fear is, well you'll see when I show you this next one, this inner color was actually, it's actually very peach in the uh, duo, but when I put it on it pulled a white. Uh, very very light so I have to make sure that this green is not going to do the same thing but anyway it is beautiful it's a duo of green and brown and the brown is almost a burgundy brown I will swatch these for you I swatched them on Instagram okay so and now the green is very they're very these eyeshadows are very easy to work with um, they build up nicely. You can shear them out really nicely. Uh, they do all have a little bit of, in the duo so far, they do have a little bit of a satin finish and one has a little bit more shimmer to it, but not glitter. You can see on my eye, that's the extent of it. There's no glitter fallout on the eye. But it is really, really a beautiful green brown. So I'm gonna give that a try. I don't know yet. Okay, so the next thing, this one here is the one I'm wearing today, and it is called Amaretto. And you'll see what I mean by the peach in it. It shows up very, very, very peach in the package. But on the eye, and when you finally put it on, it really shears out but it's beautiful. Okay, so that is what I have on my eyes today. And again, 
That's what they look like. Really, but you see how that brown stays true? And then when you put it on my eye, you can see. Let me tap a little bit in here. And then you see how easily they do, I mean, just using my fingers, how easily they blend. Really nice, really nice. Just got to find the right colors for yourself, okay? Now let's move on to lipsticks. I bought three online. I don't have one of the lipsticks on today. This is actually one of the NARS in, I want to say, Raquel. Raquel or Bridget, I will put it underneath what's on my face. Okay, so let's get, I bought three lipsticks. Um, I may keep one. The first one is 120 Ardor. And I'm, the only reason I would keep this is because it's a nice summer color. Uh, the tubes are beautiful. They are black and um, they snap closed. So no fear of it coming off. You have to really pull. Okay, so the first one I said this is Ardor. And it is totally different in person than it was online. It seemed like a light bulb just popped, but no light bulb is there, honest. Must be spirit visiting me. Okay, so that is the Adore. The consistency of these lipsticks are very, very nice, very creamy, very smooth, lots of pigmentation. Um, I can't say how they've worn. However, I will tell you this. And this is very important to me because I don't like to smell or taste my lipstick. The Gucci lipstick have a signature, I think it's chocolate something, in all of his lipsticks. You can smell it and I'm, I'm going to bet that you'll be able to taste it a little bit, okay, if you're super sensitive to them. Again, let me show you that lipstick. Beautiful. Okay, so the next one... These looked like they were more neutral online than they are pulling up for me. This is Antique Ruby. Again, I thought it looked totally different online. I don't even know why it's called Ruby. It looks orange. But that is that one. And let me give you a little swatch of this one. But you can also see the consistency of them on the swatch. That they are... So that's the two of them together. And they're beautiful. They come with a little Gucci emblem on them. Very nice, but it's just not going to work for me. It's not what I wanted. Online, I really wish they would figure out a way, and I know it's hard. I wish they'd figure out a way so that we could get true. True colors we're looking at. And then the last one, and again, those are probably going back. I'm thinking about them. Uh, this one here is called Fever, number 350. Again, looked totally different online to me. Okay, so this one here, uh, I probably will keep because it's a very um, neutral toned peach. Let me show that to you. Okay, but on my hand, you can see. And again, that one is Fever. So I will, I will probably keep this one of the lipsticks. So that is it for my Gucci haul. Like I said, I'm probably going to keep one of the quads. I'm keeping both of the blushes. The blushes are just beautiful. They truly are just, I mean, you can build them up. They're really, really a nice blush. I love them. Very sheer with just a, the right amount of glow to them. I really, really do like them. Uh, the eyeshadows, I'm going to see how these play on me. If they turn too blue, of course, I'm not going to be able to keep them. But they do, even though they do have a shimmer, they're not too much for us, ladies. They're just not. So that's it. That's my Gucci haul. Some I'm keeping, some I'm not. Let me know if you've purchased any of the Gucci line, how you felt, you know, how you feel about it. Uh, what's your favorite thing so far that you have tried? And uh, this is very unusual for me to order so many things, but I guess I was just so taken um, by some of the videos I've seen and how beautiful it looked. Uh, it is, it's very, very, for me, my most favorite eyeshadows ever are by Christian Dior. And uh, although I love my MAC eyeshadows, and most of my eyeshadows are MAC, but um, this Gucci collection is uh, very, very close to the Dior quality. Very close. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. And most of all, my peeps, my friends, 
be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.